Oh, well. It's okay. PA. Oh, my God. If PA is safe lane, he's going to get harassed a lot by Sanking. Yeah, he's going to have a very, very hard time. It's very hard for him in the laning phase. But Ehom already had that pick plan for like a long time. They like instantly picked it. I didn't even think about it. Get uh, some goal when the fight starts happening. Sounds great, gentlemen. Towards the Shadow Demon. Yet to skill now skills the disruption of holding back. One of them, but Ake, looking to follow through, and he's going to get himself first blood. Ake, with a top-notch rotation up towards the top lane. Indeed, looking to punish E-Home's 11. Going in rather deep onto Bulldog. He's going to have Old Lanham coming in as well, and Bulldog looks to be in trouble. Spirit into the stomp. One more touch from the Sand King. E-Home, quick to punish Alliance elsewhere across the map. s come down. He's going to look to start to stack up the Napalm on Old Eleven, and Old Eleven, he's... Not got any points, of course, at this stage in Sandstorm. So S4 with a good TP to make something off the back of Bulldog's death and getting himself a... Yeah. Hang on, is this Elder Titan going for the, uh, for the Courier? He's just he come down with a haste for yeah? Oh, here we go. Oh! He got oh, it. He's going deep, he does get it. <laughs> oh, and he makes it out as well. Oh, Lanham, what a play. He's just taken away someone's boots as well with that one. Hey, old chicken. He needs to... Oh! He's got stick charges. He's fine. He's fine. Carry presence the other time. Moving in on Old Chicken and Alliance. Continuing to, to make the mid lane go even nicer for them. A kill as well for the two of them. Can't really do that much for the team. Like, if he rotates mid, sure, he'll be able to save situations like that. Maybe Old Chicken doesn't die. But then your Sven is almost guaranteed to be getting nothing out of the lightning phase. Oh, and here comes Old Chicken. Missing the arrow uncharacteristically as well. We saw how well in game one Ehome were able to hit combos time and time again, but a little bit if they can catch S4 out. So they want to play this, old Levin. The vision from old Lannan Spirit now jumping in, committing the epicenter as well. The fire blast has come through, but it's already been cast here. The damage, too much for S4. So old Chicken makes his presence known as well. And they will get that bow rider kill. But yeah, I think uh, given the state of the game and having that extra Warcry armor as well against stuff like PA and Launcher, it is going to be great. Jim in trouble, three heading down, Femre Lanham ready to back up old 11. Jim on the Ogre, maybe tanky, not quite tanky enough to deliver the damage that Ehome are doing already with this combination of heroes. Equilibrium very nicely by the tower, so see how far out he comes with this next wave. They'll come out to bite him back pretty hard. S4 getting in position with the Firefly, and they'll start to close the gap to the Lasso. Can't get it off in time. Ice, 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 Storm out to hold him back, and Fenrir. Presence is made known. As with a disruption, holds back S4. And Ehome making it very hard for Alliance to get the kills that they need. Well, there's an epicenter at the ready as well. Okay, hunting in the tree lines, right, waiting for some kind of counter. Fact, tries to jump on 11. S4 is there as well with the Lasso, and that's a big catch. 11 will be taken down. Alliance, making sure that they don't let Ehome get the better of them. In the mid lane. See where they try something, but at the same time, Ehome. But Old Chicken, Old Man. Nice, 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 ready. At the same time, top lane, Femrir. Just gonna look to set this up, Old Eleven. This man is just a little bit too damn good on the Sand King. 4.7k net worth, top of the board, making the plays happen. Just so you get that bonus damage, and you, you have to pick your fights very carefully. Oh, oh no! Oh, Ehome! Jumping in! Taking the invis in front of him as they murder him. Oh, God. Picks like this, it's why Ehome are, are seen to be this absolute ancient stack. Alliance, they're going to come too late for the ancients, but they may be able to punish him whilst he's low. And indeed, S4 jumps in. Eyes, eyes, eyes down. The silence. The multi card favorite as well. Loader gets the double kill. And a perfect bit of play there to give Alliance the boost that they need. Really good read from Alliance. Knowing these three heroes, they can do an insane amount of damage. Epicenter at the ready. Let's see what the jump looks like. Old 11 finds Loader. Going immediately for the epicenter follow up as well. Loader in a lot of trouble. The arrow hits as well. They've found the PA. EGM going for the TP. Have they got anything to cancel? Yes, they do. The stop from Lanham's there. And Alliance, as quick as they find two kills, will be quick to give away two of their own. Old 11 finds the double. Done, so that way you can quickly get your BKB. Mid lane, actually, Alliance looking to jump in onto Old Lanham and again. Okay, and S4, the combo working out. Get themselves another pick. Jumping onto Old Lanham and again. Okay, and S4, the combo working out. Get themselves another pick. Alliance really haven't been able to make 
much of their picks do do anything though, because Bulldog's playing a very safe farming game, and he's the one hero that you're looking at to say, okay, let's hit some buildings. But he hasn't really been uh, been doing that, just trying to get to the radiance as fast as he can. You can see the three members of Eho, and they just really trying to find something to get the setup. On to Loader, Epicenter as well. They need a follow through still potentially. Loader jumps across and away, but Fenrir is there with the demonic purge. Ice, 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 turning up as well. Takes down Loader, S4 in trouble. Flame breaks, Ice, Ice, Ice away from him, trying to hide in the trees. S4 gets the blink off. S4 is pulling him away from the objective. And they actually finish off the kill, Eho, and they're chasing him. They're going to have vision on him now. Old 11 gets the burst drive off. They will clean up the bat. Eho. Finding so much at this point. Coming out on top and, and consistently pulling off the plays. Top. Lanham. He's just going to drop the ult. The CP's coming through as well. If they can kill Bord on the oh. end. Yeah. E-Home. Absolutely perfect. And that was before he'd spent his relic gold. He found himself with double damage ready for this next fight. And indeed with the moonlight. E-Home. Certainly looking to get something done around the mid lane. So they get the jumping in indeed, they found EGM first. Oh, the arrow oh. again. Just that was combination so nice. from Eho bringing down the members of Alliance Loader away from that Radiance. They really need it on Bulldog's Bear. That disruption. See if they can do this though, indeed it may play against them. Yes, with the old down to Ice 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 and Ferret with a bit of a blunder. And it cost them Ice Ice Ice's life. I think maybe Eho were assuming that Alliance were going to try to fight them. We may still, but again, another Samuel to Eho, man. A couple of mistakes. And Alliance. I feel like without magic immunity and fights, he's just going to explode. Like, I think he, like, BKB is mandatory at this point, if you want to fight. Weppy. Coming in, old 11, looking to jump in mid. He's caught out, Bulldog, but Bulldog, safe for the time being. And again, Eho using their tools, but not finding the initial pickoff. And they stick around for the long haul, looking for EGM with the Demonic Purge, jumping and EGM's down at the same time. They've lost the Sand King. And another trade that Elias are going to be very happy with. And Ehome just not hitting the exact combos that they need to in, the, in these fights. So they didn't get anything more though, still sticking around, jumping forward, Bulldog. Could be one to fall as well, but the Savage Raw pushes them back, Fenrir. Looking to hold him in place with his stroke, but Ice Ice Ice! The Ultramarch oh, oh, rips him to bits! Chasing down from all the stop from all enemies there. They're looking for the turn. Up with the ult. They've lost load of the Star Storm. Bursting them down quickly. Eom recovering, recovering control of this fight. And he may just tick down and he will. But Alliance, they are bringing down members of Eom with them. Well, we talked about the importance of the Radiance timing against Ehome's lineup and at the center here. 11, jumping onto EGM. TP's coming through from Ehome. Alliance, they're still around here. Looks like they may just sack EGM. Let him go, but EGM, he's going to make this hard for Eho. Moonlight pops as well. Oh, he's going for the TP. Is isn't going to make it? It's a sweet attempt from EGM. <laughs> Assuming they don't get caught first. Ehome, yeah, if Alliance lose one member at the start, it could be pretty painful, especially with S4. But he gets the BKB off Loader. Jumping it onto all left, but the defensive disruption from Fenrir. Loader can't finish off the kill. Now looks towards Fenrir himself, but the Elder Tyne Hulk oh, catching him out, slowing him down. Loader can't finish off the kill. Eho surrounded, take him down. Loader's out, and Alive, they may just lose more. Okay, dropping the Mystic Flare, but it's not going to get the kill. Old Chicken with a double kill. Ice 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 pulling very low, but Bulldog's down. Eho with a third, and maybe more as Old 11, shifting four to S4. EGM's got out of the tree line. Eho find a fourth, and S4, the only one to get out by the looks of it, but he may not even do that as Old 11. Still has a burrow strike. It looks like he's going to blink back. But not the fight that Alliance were looking for. And in fact, they may just lose S4. Old Chicken jumping across. Now he's going to come through, but of course, not going to reach S4 as he will. Nice, so nice, nice into the pit. Alliance. Yeah. Moving over with the pings, but Ehome getting a position on the high ground, ready to fight. And all oh, this could be paid for Alliance. Jumping in, I don't know. Oh, they're already there. Two gone immediately on Alliance. And it may even be more again. Loader just goes for the BKB TPL. He's going to make it. Ake, on the other hand, certainly isn't. Ehome finding everything. And even more. Bulldog caught out. Brought down. 
this game proving to be even more brutal for Alliance than game one, Andy. Man. Old Chicken just jumps back in and oh, 11 percent are going in immediately onto Bulldog. He's dead already. 60 seconds out, just like that. E-home. That was such a crisp movement. They like killed Roshan and just immediately cut towards middle lane because they know that it's pushed in and that somebody is going to have to address it. Just Ehome playing super well right now. Oh, and they got us oh, straight in. That case disappeared off the face of the earth. S4 trying to bring back a powerful ball of two. Ice, ice, ice again being saved by Fenrir. I mean, disruption or not, he wasn't dying there for sure. Three dead on Alliance. Luda pops the BKB, but he doesn't quite know what he can do with it here as he's just got to get himself back to the fountain. Alliance, 30 seconds before they have the five. Oh, no, 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 going into the fountain here. The old, the old. Oh, 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 oh Luda. Oh, he's still probably going to die. Oh, Chick, did he find him? No. He managed to blink back. S4. So we can punish old Chick's positioning there to save whoever gets gone on. And the D push from Elias just isn't there as well with their hero selection. Oh the bear! God. Blown up immediately and there's no bear for 90 seconds. Old 11. Just teasing there. See if we can get a latch. S4. So we can get something here. Maybe look for Old Chicken. But Old Chicken's got the weapons and Old Chicken. Kills off EGM. Feels like at this point, all it takes for E-Home is to just A-click the base, and the game can be won. Jumping in again, the real oh, Luna! There goes Shikari, S4! Gets the lasso off, but it doesn't matter, just dragging E-Home closer to Ake. Ake's down. Going in for even more, old 11, no <laughs> chill whatsoever, GG! In what has to be an immensely painful game for Alliance. E-Home, another day in the office for them. Insane play, immaculate play. They just were not messing up today, E-Home. Everything was perfect. Alliance gave them the heroes they wanted two games in a row, I feel. Like, sure, it's, it's hard to ban against E-Home because they pick a lot of stuff, but the Sand King and the Marana especially, like, those heroes have been seen throughout the group stage, and Old Chicken and Old Eleven both, I mean, they played phenomenally throughout the series, and Fenrir saves, positioning on the map was great. Alliance, I felt like they were just getting outmaneuvered a lot. The mobility of E-Home's lineup, I think, caught them off guard, and they were just getting active a lot earlier in the game than Alliance were.